It has been our experience that when you think about cultural change and changing something in a company, there are some misunderstandings about what culture is. And I see companies and I see programs that talk about that and I don't see them covering this part of the process. So when you think about cultural change, you want to understand what's culture. So what's culture in the first place? How would you define culture in a company, in an organization, in a family, anywhere, in a community. Well, it's been our experience that culture is the way we do things. Culture is the way we do things. If you think about a company, the way that everyone in the company does things, that makes the company culture. When you think about this idea of someone fitting or not fitting the company culture. What do they mean by that? When you say this person is not the fit for the company, do you think the person gets a letter or an official letter you know, from the company signed by, you know, in the name of the company that you don't fit our culture? How do, how do you think they get to that conclusion that the person doesn't fit the culture? It's not the company itself, right? It's the people working in the company. And in the case of recruitment or you know, someone not fitting, most likely it's about the recruiter, you know, the HR person and the manager, you know, that had contact with the person. The candidate has not yet had contact with anybody else from the company outside of the a handful of people. So when you think about the company culture and deciding if someone is a fit or not, we're thinking about the habits of the people in the culture, in the company. So culture is the collection of the way we do things in a company. So when you think about now cultural change, how can you change a culture? It's like changing a habit. So when you want to change a habit in your life, if you've done that, you know it takes time, you know there is habits that we have in our life that we need to gradually change and replace with new habits that we want in our life. So when you know a company board or CEO, they get into one of these you know, vision retreats and they write down, this is the company culture, this is the company values, this is the, our value statement, this is what we want to be, this is what we stand for. And they come back into the offices and they make this you know, big conference where everybody is invited and then they talk about this is the new company culture, this is our new signature. And um, everybody goes back to their you know, workplace and they continue to do exactly the same things they done before. Nothing changes. Nothing changes by just, you know, changing the declaration, maybe putting that in a frame, putting it on the wall, or informing people, it does not change. Change occurs when we start changing the things we do every single day. So if a company says that this is valuable for us, this is one of our core values, this is what we stand for, everyone in the company should live out that value, should live out that statement. And obviously it starts at the top. I mean, where do people in the company look up for, you know, examples. We say that people do not do what they hear, but they do what they see. People do what people see. So when you think about a company culture and changing that, it has to start with the influencers in the company. And you have some, you know, formal influencers like managers, leaders, and you have some informal leaders in the company as well in all at all levels, there are formal leaders and informal leaders, or formal influencers and informal influencers. And they kind of set the stage for the rest of the team. So when you want to implement cultural change in any company, you need to start and lead by example. So even before you go to that nice retreat and you sit down and you put you know, those values in words and you make the mission statement and everything before you do that you as a leader you have the responsibility to already start living those values and you don't even have to have that 
you know, statement and, you know, mission statement and everything. You don't even need to have that if you already live those values. You know, you live out those values. And because you live them out, people see what you do. And then when they see that, they start doing what you're doing. So when someone says, being on time, it's important for us as a company, and they are late, what's the signal that they send to the team? Is it that it's important or not? I say it's important, but I'm late. So it's okay for them to be late too, because you know the manager is late, so I can be late too. The manager leaves early, so I can leave early too. You know, the manager say this, and I could say it too, right? So that's culture. Changing that, it starts with gradually changing the way we do things. So when you say, for example, in one of my previous assignments, one of my previous roles, I was responsible for a team of 14 engineers and we had to, you know, put security of our team very high. And because of that, whenever we were in this workshop area, we needed to wear security shoes, protection shoes. And so I couldn't go out and, you know, just make a remark to one of my team players and saying, yeah, you know, you don't have your security shoes and you, you should wear them because it's good for you if I wouldn't have mine. So anytime I was in the workshop area, I had my shoes because that was setting the, you know, the standard for the team. And there were some people in my team that just follow along and they wear their shoes anyway because they saw I wear them and they understood this is the, the way we do things and then that's part of the culture and they've done it. And there, are, there were other things, other people that wouldn't just do it naturally and I had to remind them, we, we, we had to help them understand that this is important. But for both of those cases, I need to set the example. I needed to set the example. So if you want to implement any kind of change in any organization, any community, in your family, anywhere, you have to start first. You have to set the example. You have to live out those values. And gradually, not overnight, but through an orderly process of growth and change, your team will start living out the same values. I hope this helps and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.